gentlemen, me welcome back. It is always great to see you. I missed you. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, yeah. A long minute. How does it feel to be in front of an audience? I mean, I mean, were... it's been a while. Yes. And, yeah, it's I forgot the best. how nervous. Never... I. I'm so happy you came in person. We really appreciate this and came to the show. I, I recently you. saw a photo of you and, uh, and our pal Billy Crudup, who we love, uh, on the red carpet of the SAG Awards. There you guys are there. Uh, and uh, is this the first, is this the first like red carpet I think I've seen? Yes. It's, like two, uh, yeah. two and a half years or something. Definitely. Um, it, was, uh, it was nice to be back and, you know, get frocked up and everything. Yeah. Um, is that what they call Frocked up? Did you, did, you, did you say that? I mean, oh, the night right. is young. Yeah, we can, we can get, if you want to get, we got time. We can get frocked up tonight. We can do it. We got some, we got champagne. You guys want to get frocked up? Let's do it. Uh, I guess that means it means dressed up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, of Put course. Put the frocks on. <laughs> Put um, the frocks. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. and um, yeah, it was it was nice. It was a it was a good night to be back and see old friends that you haven't seen for a while. And it is right. You yeah. get to see everybody. You go, oh my gosh! You don't realize how much how yeah. many people you miss. Until yes, you, it's just like in disappeared a room. all that time, and then there you are. Well, you've been so. to uh, so many award shows. Uh, one of your movies, The Impossible, the uh, I think it was ten. You got an Oscar nomination for that. That's ten years ago. Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. And I I want to show this picture because your son in the movie was uh, a man by the name of Tom Holland. That's right. And, uh... Did you... Oh, you've heard of him. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Did you have any idea that he was going to be the, one of the biggest stars on the planet? Um, I mean, I knew he had a future. <laughs> yeah. I, I could tell that he was a brilliant actor. He came yeah. with great discipline and focus because he was an athlete, and, you know, he's, he was very dedicated to, to doing that, so I knew he would be... He would be good. He, yeah. Um, and then he also has a really great, beautiful family um, who keep him grounded and um, and a raw talent. That's pretty so, cool. But I didn't really think, oh wow, this guy's going to be in Spider Man. Oh, that would have been yeah, that would. It would have been, been a far fetched. <laughs> that would have been weird. Like yeah. This boy will be Spider Man one yes. day. Like all right, Naomi, I have get a back vision. to your, get back to your dressing room. Take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> you're a little you're a little frocked up right now. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> But it turned out great. I love it. And obviously, I love that movie. You were telling me backstage, uh, and I did not, I could not guess this about you, but you're, you've turned into a car person. Well, inadvertently, yeah. I, I never, I mean, I love cars, but I don't obsess over how okay. you choose them. And, you know, I don't have a, like, a special brand that I, you know, I'm attached to. No, but then you just recently got a vehicle and you... My favorite car, right, well, as of now, um... But yeah, it's a mom van. I, it's, I call it my Hot Wheels. Yeah. Um, You've got yeah, a minivan. I've got a minivan, and you can do all kinds of things with a minivan. Did you know? <laughs> you can get frogged up in it. You can. You can get frogged up coming out of a minivan. Tell me about the minivan, because I am obsessed. Um, well, seven seats. You can move furniture, which I had to do in the middle of the pandemic by yeah. myself. Um, you can put the surfboards in there. It's great for the beach. Um, <laughs> you can you can do all kinds of things. You can have all your friends and just <laughs> in, and you in don't one, care. It's like a party van. And you don't like. You don't care. My kids were embarrassed. They were like, "Mom, that is so not cool." Yeah, your kids are teenagers. Yes, they are. Wow, what happened? When I didn't even know yeah. they're teenagers. Yeah, what's time it like? By. Um, what are you know, they like? They're they're great, and you know, but they're also full of teenage angst, and yeah. you know, they're a little grumpy yeah. at times. Yeah, I have, that to, I have that to look forward to. Yeah, you're in the sweet stage still. Yeah, you have a great family, but uh, please give them my best. I like they care about me, but uh, uh, <laughs> to like, uh, I don't even know who that guy is. No, no, they know you. Okay, good, good, they good. They know you. Um, uh, I want to talk about your movie. Uh, yes. This is called Infinite Storm, and this is based on a true story. And it's wild story. Can you set up what it's about? Yeah, it's about a woman who is a um, search and rescue um, woman, and she does the most incredible rescue this particular time. Um, a man who's actually gone up to the mountain to commit suicide, yeah. and she risks her life. Um, she finds him in literally short, like as if he's dressed for the beach, virtually, um, and puts her own life at risk. Um, but what I love about this film is it's not just a, you know, high drama film. It's also, there's a lot of poetry in it because nature is a wonderful resource for healing. She has her demons that she's battling and, um, 
and yeah, we, you... we we always like battle our demons and we find other ways and for answers. But literally, the the perfect reminder in this film is that nature is there and it's beautiful and it can quiet the mind. You don't have to have extreme settings like mountains, but you can ha you know just go to the river or go to the beach or go to a park or anything. Yeah, and just, and just quiet the mind. Yeah. And... Did you know the story before the script? I did not. I yeah. didn't, but... It, it's, it's wild. She's doing her normal thing, and she sees these footprints that go off yeah. the trail, and she's like, in the snow, and she's like, oh, that's not normal. Yes. And yeah. then she... And they're sneakers. They're not, like, mountain boots. boots. Yeah. yeah. And in this extreme weather, this particular day, nobody should be out there anyway, much less in sneakers. And she cares so much about saving this guy. It's a pretty fascinating story. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Naomi Watts in Infinite Storm. Take a look. Do you belong to this Pemiju? Pemiju Wasset, search and rescue. Yeah, that's me, Pam Bales. You guys have a helicopter? What? Hell it. <laughs> no, sir. Just me. No cell phone service till we get to the parking lot either. You're no backup either. Nope, just you and me. Mm. Um, uh, Naomi, I saw that uh, recently you, you, you took up pottery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and I was wondering uh, if you could maybe show me how to make something when we come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is okay. that possible? Okay, more with Naomi Watts after the break. Come on back. We're making pottery. Hey.